Now, let's go to meteorologist Kirk Greenfield for another look at the forecast. Kirk, you said rain is moving in. It's possible. We're not certain who's going to see the rain and who's going to escape the downpours, but it's a possibility of some thunderstorms tonight. Let's take a look at our current radar satellite composite. And although we do see a few showers that have moved off to the north and then another batch that's trying to arrive from the south, uh, there's not much here. We're looking at cloudy conditions, uh, some sun breaking through. It does look pretty nice as we take a look at the view here on the Jan Dills Marietta Sky Cam atop the Lafayette Hotel. 78 degrees, feels like 80. The relative humidity 58%, the winds just 3 miles per hour, and the barometer 29.91 inches is falling. When we take a look at our regional temperatures, 78 at Columbus, Athens, and Parkersburg, 77 in Charleston, so there's not much variation. And the breeze from the north is barely three miles per hour, might as well be calm. When we take a look at the 24-hour temperature change, we're about two degrees cooler than we were yesterday at this same time. Athens is just barely one degree warmer. When we look for those radar echoes, very slight trace here across maybe Gallia County to the south and over to Jackson County, Ohio, and then into the Scioto River Valley. The really heavier downpours are down in Kentucky and Tennessee, where the possibility of thunderstorms are much more uh, supportive. When we take a look at the radar satellite composite, the cold front's already gone through, and we really don't have much as far as high pressure goes, but it has tried to keep things quiet today. Futurecast suggests that we'll start to see some of these cells blossom as we go into the evening. Looks like after midnight, they'll pass through the area, so we may see some thunderstorms associated with that, and then some morning fog that has to dissipate before we see much of the sunshine tomorrow. It should be a warmer and somewhat drier day tomorrow as we head into the holiday weekend, so maybe a good day for for traveling, although a lot of people are on the road already. Your eye is drawn over to the uh, far left as we start to see the next wave try to invade Michigan. As we get into Saturday morning, it does look like we've got some milky skies. The allergy alert says pollen levels have been reduced by some of those showers. A little rise tomorrow, but then on Saturday, they're down again. Grasses, mulberry, and hickory are the current mixture. That yellow dust on your car. As far as severe thunderstorms go, we're in the lowest category here of thunderstorms. There's a bullseye in Kentucky and Tennessee where we see those storms blossoming, where the uh, risk is slightly elevated, uh, not expected to come to us. Tonight, 63 for the overnight low with possibility of some thunderstorms. Tomorrow, 82 for the high and partly cloudy skies. When we look at the extended forecast, as we head into the holiday weekend, there's about a 58% chance of storms Saturday, 44 on Sunday, and then on the holiday itself, almost 70% chance of precipitation as the temperatures come out of the 80s and back down to the 70s, so we have a cooler start to our next work week.